Well, this year, uh, we bought something even dumber, because <laughs> when Russell Crowe held his divorce auction, we bought a bunch of his memorabilia, including his jockstrap from the 2005 film Cinderella Man, which we then donated to one of the last blockbusters in Alaska. <laughs> and to his immense credit, Russell Crowe used the money that we paid to fund the John Oliver Koala Chlamydia Award <laughs> at the Australia Zoo, which is... That is a burn so harsh that only koalas with chlamydia can sympathise. <laughs> you know, it is very sad, although I will be honest, I didn't really expect the jockstrap to save Blockbuster completely. <laughs> as amazing as Russell Crowe's leather scrotum holster is, I didn't really think it had the power to make Netflix disappear. <laughs> now, now if, you, if you are wondering what happened to all of Russell Crowe's merchandise, I have good news and bad news. The good news is there's actually one remaining Blockbuster in America. It's in Oregon, and all the items were sent there. The, the bad news is, one of them went missing. And tragically, it was the jockstrap. <laughs> there, there were actually numerous stories about its disappearance. <laughs> and, and I am sorry to tell you that we have no idea where Russell Crowe's jockstrap is. We don't. We simply don't. <laughs> Except for the fact that we actually do. Um,